So you want to remove page numbering from certain pages within your Microsoft Word document. In my scenario, I've got two blank pages where I don't want to show the page numbering, but the page numbering needs to be retained in the rest of the document. But the key to this is to understand how sections work in Microsoft Word. By default, your Word document will have one section, which means your page numbering settings will be the same throughout the document. If we add multiple sections, we can have different page numbering settings within those different sections. Now, a good starting point is to show the section information down here, bottom left on your status bar. If you just right click somewhere down here and then tick this option section, it will show you what section you're currently in within your document. So at the moment, the whole document is within section one. The next step is to click in the first page where you don't want to show page numbering. So I've clicked at the top there, and then you're gonna to go to the layout tab on your ribbon. I'm already on the layout tab. Go to breaks, and then under section breaks, click continuous. Now you'll see now that we're in section two. If I click back in this first page, we're in section one, click here, we're in section two. So in fact, from this point onwards, the whole document is within section two, but we need to create a third section, which will appear after the pages where we don't want page numbering. So I would click down here. And this is the first page where I want the page numbering to be retained. And I would insert another continuous section break. So you can see now that this is in section three. The blank pages are in section two, and this page here is in section one. So now what I need to do is I need to go into the footer of the document. And an easy way of doing that is to just double click down in the bottom margin of the page. Now you'll see here, it actually tells you which section each of these footers are in. So footer section one, footer section two, down here, footer section three. Now at the moment, all of the footer sections are linked together. So whatever I do in one section will also be done to another. So if I, for example, delete the numbering there, it will delete the numbering in all of the sections. What I need to do is somehow detach section two from section one and section three. Now the way to do this is to observe this option here, same as previous. We don't want section two to be the same as the previous section. So what we do is on this header and footer tab, which will appear when you're in a header or footer, you need to click this button linked to previous. Now you can see that it's actually a toggle button and currently it's on. I can tell that because it has that kind of gray shading. If I click that link to previous button, that same as previous option has now disappeared. So this section two footer is no longer linked to the section one footer. But I also need to do the same for the section three footer. I need to unlink it from section two. So I do the same thing. I click into that footer for section three. I click on the link to previous button and that's no longer linked to section two. So now section two is unlinked from section one and section three. So I can safely delete the page numbering and the page numbering is retained on the first page and from page four onwards. Now, if you want this page number, which is currently four, to actually continue on from the last page that was numbered, so instead of four, we'd want a two, then what you can do is click down into that footer, go to the page number button. This is still on the header and footer tab go to format page number and then where it says page numbering here click on start at and type in your number click on ok so you can see now that we have page number one here these two pages don't have numbers then we start at two on the fourth page okay that's all i wanted to cover in this particular video hopefully that's useful if it is please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next video